yeah, we got a little bit of red wine in there. We got some honey, we got some truffle pecorino cheese that doesn't have a lot of truffle left in it, um, and some hazelnuts. But anyways, isn't this, I don't know, I think it's a, I think it's a cool kind of, you know, you get a different pattern in every slice and it's really soft and, uh, and beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and measure out the flour for these two different batches. For my other flour mixture, this is just going to be a straight 275 grams of flour. Each recipe here is going to get 105 grams of liquid. Uh, for this first one though, I'm going to make this uh, red wine instead of water. And I'm also going to heat this in a stove pot just until it's about like 105 degrees. Um, into each of these flour mixtures. I'm just gonna go ahead and add uh, 25 grams of white granulated sugar. You could also use honey, I think that's more traditional. Um, and I'm also going to add five grams of salt to each one of these flour mixtures. And into each uh, individual dry mixture here, I'm just gonna add half a package of you know, active dry yeast. You're supposed to kind of bloom it, which I could do but I've had success not, not blowing the yeast. That didn't even register on the schedule, but on the, on the scale, but I, I know it's, it's in there. And that's a good reason why for some of these small amounts, if you just have to add like two grams of something, get a small digital scale, which I don't, I don't have yet, but you know, I'm hoping soon. I'm just gonna microplane this. You know, to Gonna quickly mix these up here because honestly, at this point, I've forgotten which one's purple. All right, this one's purple. Finally, all that's gonna happen is I'm gonna combine these different dry ingredients with their respective wet ingredients and add one egg to each batch. And I'm just gonna put them in a stand mixer separately to mix for you know about eight minutes. And the exact thing, same thing is going to happen here. I'm just going to mix my dry with my wet, add an egg. And I'm also going to add some of this Pecorino truffle cheese into this white strand. That's not the red wine strand. Um, I could also microplane some nuts and add those in as well. And maybe, maybe I'll do that. I'm going to add my liquid for this red wine, purple sweet potato, part of the loaf. In there first, I'm gonna add in my flour. I'm just gonna add in my, my egg right now. Some people add it later. This right here is where I'm gonna stop it. Um, you can see it's like, a, it's a beautiful, you know, it's a little bit wet, um, but this is gonna even kind of like soften and lighten up as I just um, put it in a lightly oiled bowl and put it with plastic wrap for about 45 minutes. And then I'll divide it into three or six strands I haven't decided yet. And I'm gonna do this exact same process with the other dough. Um, the only difference is I'm gonna add in some some of this pecorino truffle cheese that I microplaned, uh, you know, which is beautiful. And maybe some, uh, some microplaned uh, walnuts or something like that. This second cheese component of the wine and cheese loaf is just gonna be, um, you know, the exact same, the exact same process. I could have added my liquid first. Uh, the only difference is I'm gonna add some cheese into, uh, into this one as well, uh, I could really about 20 grams of, of this. So, I forgot to add, I forgot to microplane any nuts or add them to this mix. So, you know, whatever, I got some uh, noise. 
your uh, walnuts here. Um, and for this, you know, you just kind of do your best. You're gonna get some chunks in there, but I just kind of want fine grind. I'm gonna sweeten it up a little bit with some flour honey, just cause, you know, whatever. Okay, this is what we got. You know, it's, it's sticky. I'm a little worried about how sticky it is. But you know, sometimes in life, you try new things, and sometimes we don't succeed. And this might be, this might be one of those times. But, it'll be fun. Try it out. Ah, that's sticky. Huh. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do this one first because it's so it's so wet and I'm just not I'm not feeling a certain way about it. And I kinda wanna I kinda wanna use some rice flour on top just to to make this whole shape and just to give this a little more just a little more hydration. Okay, so this is what we got. Bear with me here while I try to, you know, I'm gonna try to braid this. I screwed it up. I screwed it up the first time I tried it and I might screw it up again, um, but it's, it's fun to try. So I don't know if you can tell, but this is uh, this is risen. This is risen a lot. Um, I'm I'm really happy with it. You know, this braiding it could have been better. I'm not even sure if at this point I did it right. Uh, but all I'm gonna do now is a quick little uh, egg wash here on the on the outside. This right here will go into the oven at about 185 celsius or like uh, 360 fahrenheit for about like 32 minutes and it comes out check them out i think it's super beautiful and what's funny to me about it and super cool about it is yeah we got a little bit of red wine in there we got some honey we got some truffle pecorino cheese that doesn't have a lot of truffle in it um and some hazelnuts What you end up with is, you know, kind of this beautiful uh, multicolored colored loaf. And um, I'm curious to see how it tastes. It's really hot right now, um, but that's okay. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, that's good.
but I could have braided the strands the strands a little differently. But anyways, isn't this? I don't know. I think it's a, I think it's a cool kind of. You know, you get a different pattern in every slice, and it's really soft and, uh, and beautiful. But I hope you uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh,